Hello everyone, my name is Clack and I'm one of the lead devs and community manager for the Wings of Dawn. So first things first, thank you so much for the support on the game. The amount that we made without outside support was spectacular. We reached 34,000 out of 100,000 pounds, which is amazing. However, we do need over three times that amount. And today I'm going to be talking to why our Kickstarter failed and what our plan is for improving things later down the line. We released the Kickstarter on the 10th of November, 2022. This was slightly rushed on our behalf, and this was mainly done as we were either going to have to release it early in November to try and get money pre-Christmas, uh, which was already rather late into the year, and not the best time to do so. Or it was to either wait until late January or early February, and we decided to launch it earlier, which looking back on it was not the best idea. The trailer itself was made very fast as well, if it wasn't obvious. Um, this was mainly due to the rush of the Kickstarter being released, but it was low quality, only showing off some of the gameplay that was in the game, along with it being dark. It did not show off gameplay, growth, the fact that humans would be in the game, or anything of real substance. Due to the rushing, uh, there were a few errors on the Kickstarter. For example, there was no £500 skin, as it was originally meant to be a custom skin, but that was changed last minute as we thought that would put too much work onto our skin artist. There was also a bug on the site editor that happened that reset certain support roles that have had things or not have things that they should have had. We also had a large issue with communication on our Twitter, Instagram, and even the Kickstarter itself. We did not openly talk as much there, which has left some of the people in the dark. While on Discord, we had great communication, doing our weekly updates, developer polls, and just being generally active ourselves. When we launched the Kickstarter, the tech demo was finished and we were only looking for a server host. It was finished to a standard that we were happy with, and with our time frame, we were on schedule to release a patch every two weeks, which would have added humans and a new dragon. However, once we tried the tech demo with the new hosted server, massive lag spikes began to happen. We managed to find these problems and fix some of them, but each time we found something, a new problem would form, causing more lag or breaking some part of the AI. And with the holidays soon arriving, People were going on holiday for Christmas, spending time with their family, as well as obviously the New Year's and all that that bought. Um, we couldn't fix all of them in time, so this ended up with us having a laggy, buggy tech demo that we're not remotely happy with and that content creators were not happy with to play and upload videos on, which obviously was very bad for us. While we spoke about the bad, let's now talk about some of the good. We know we can make upwards of £30,000 on our own, which is incredible. Uh, this amount in a short amount of time gave us a lot of publicity with different companies and individuals that offered their help or services, which again is incredible. We also gained around 500 people in our Discord server in that time, although a lot of that was due to the previous videos on our game created by different content creators that were already doing those things. Um, now this one may sound a little odd, but because of the failure of the Kickstarter and the tech demo, that will actually help us make sure that it does not happen again, so we know where the problems lie and we can deal with them. While the Kickstarter failed, it does allow us to show that people are interested in joining the team, and that there is interest involved in this game, and that the talented individuals can see that if more is put into the game, then more is gained from it. We have gained a great team from a company called Omni Sounds. Uh, you may have heard some of their sounds already from our weekly updates, but they turned our previous sounds from this into this. Which sounds amazing. There's an incredible difference in quality and you know, the assurance that this game is going to succeed. Um, they are an incredible asset for the game um, like ours, which leads us into our new plan. So our plan is to carry on development. Let's get that straight off the bat. Our weekly updates will start back up on the 16th of this month, along with a cleaning of our Discord channel to remove channels that are cluttering it. Some channels will be removed as there is no longer use for them, and some will be fused together with similar topics. Um, any Discord 
room that is removed will be archived and people will still be able to access these, but it will just be in an archive channel. The tech demo is going to be overhauled. As said previously, we found the issues and are going to fi be fixing it before release. But for those that are curious, we plan on adding the following things. Starting with the map that has been and will be constantly updated throughout the coming months, the largest change is cutting off part of the current island that has nothing on it and reducing the size of the map to its new smaller size. However, we will also be adding the underwater features as well as making sure that the water is interactable so you can swim, dive, etc. Uh, the map will also be reduced in size by... Um, it, the current map was meant to be 16 by 16 using um, trying to get the map as large as possible so we could get as many people as possible. But what we've decided instead is we've reduced the map to the one island, so it's now going to be, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's um, four by six kilometers in size. So it's still a very large map for a tech demo. The Williams are gonna be changed slightly and made to work correctly to reduce lag. Currently, the Williams should work like this. So William should spawn in a small group of four to 10 next to a pile of William eggs. When a small creature approaches them, they will attack it and kill it, then feed on the creature and return to the hive. If you leave the render distance, they should stop moving. And if one dies over a certain amount of time, they would respawn. However, instead, what is currently happening is William spawn in small groups of four to 10 next to a pile of eggs. They attack small creatures nearby and return to their hive. However, they continue to spawn while out of render distance, creating mega hives of Williams of around 20 to 30, and if not more. Now that would be okay if it was just one hive. However, this happens to around eight hives, and that is what, well, is one of the main issues that's causing the lag. So we will be fixing those issues and Omni Sounds will be creating custom sounds for the Williams. Um, with the mentioned map updates, we will plan on giving Williams the ability to also swim and dive in deep enough ponds, lakes, rivers, and oceans. The Vulcan is next, which again is going to be given their custom sounds, allowing for some really unique noises, which is already incredible if you've been listening to our weekly updates. The flight system is gonna be completely overhauled to make it feel heavy. As it is our largest flying dragon, we will also be adding a few new skins to give them equal footing with the Williams that currently have more skins than the dragons. And the flight system will be made to feel weighty and as if it's an actual flying giant creature. Now, a new feature that we think is going to be very important is humans. Yep, we, uh, the humans will be added. We'll have basic survival mechanics. These include humans being able to gather some basic resources such as berries, meat, wood, hide, stone, iron ore, and a few other things. Um, they will also be able to craft using a fireplace, forge, smithy, tanning bench, and a research table. Um, humans can also build structures which will be reasonably advanced, but they will not be modeled structures, uh, meaning they'll be basic shapes like squares, rectangles, that sort of thing. Um, they will be basic blocks indicated by colors on their levels. So yellow for thatch, brown for wood, dark gray for stone, while doors and windows will be indicated with dark brown. This is going to give players a basic understanding of how the building works and the resources, materials needed for each level. Our scathe or raptors will be reworked after humans. They will work in a new way for the tech demo. Instead of them having a hunger feature, they will, like they do currently, um, we will be changing it to a more aggressive feature. Um, if you get within a certain radius of them, they will attack, or if you get into their line of sight, they will also attack. This should solve some of the issues. We also plan on uh, making them similar to the Williams, uh, where they will stay around a clutch of eggs, however, these will be able to be interacted with by humans who can steal them and then raise them over a set period of in-game days. The egg will then spawn a tamed scathe with a randomly selected skin and which can be used as a mount to traverse the map. Uh, you'll be able to do combat off of this mount, hopefully, or you will just be able to ride the creature around. Antelopes will be fixed and allowed to run around in small herds which will provide all players with small food sources that will not fight back. However, it will remain as a skittish herbivore and run away in sight of players. 
We will be adding a new AI, the Sheldon. Um, this will be one of the largest AI in the tech demo and will provide a lot of meat to anyone that kills it. However, they will be a neutral mob that will remain passive unless attacked. If you attack a Sheldon, it will try to kill you. The Arduin will be our second playable dragon added. This is a small ocean-based herbivore that is currently being animated by Sadek. It just needs to be polished and animated and can with a few different skin options. This will give us two unique flying systems, one that is heavy and one that is light and fast. We will also have the main menu settings and server selection page finished, as well as loading page that will have a model that can be rotated along with an interesting fact about the creature or object. If we get enough time, we would also like to add a combat system for humans, although that will be one of the most complex systems to add, therefore it might not be added. However, fear not, if we do not add a human combat system, we will make it so that humans will not be able to be damaged by dragons to allow both worlds to explore. So new music will be added along with every creature, environment and humans all having their own unique sounds created by our teammates over at Omni Sounds. Uh, Nathan will still be in our team and he will be working with Omni crew on the music as well. With all that being said, this is a lot of work which we intend on doing. We will not be releasing another Kickstarter campaign until this tech demo is absolutely finished and polished to a standard that we are happy with. But this is where we do need to ask for some help here. Um, a lot of this is on multiple people, but when it comes to coding, it's just on one person. And that's just not fair. Same with some of the human aspects. So we will be opening up a Patreon. The Patreon will be used to pay for some code that would be either too complex or time consuming for our current program to do himself. This could be the overhaul in flight or some of the human mechanics. If we end up spending money on other things, this will be told to those that donate to Patreon. The Patreon will run until the second Kickstarter is about to start. So there will be a limited time when any money left over will be used to advertise the campaign, uh, which we did not do before. This would be either in ads, such as ads on Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube, etc., or with sponsorships to content creators on Twitch and YouTube. We did have a poll and vote over on our Discord on whether people wanted anything for the donations to the Patreon, which surprisingly, a majority of the people voted against. Um, however, we do feel that it would be unfair to not give anything back, so we will be showing off behind the scenes work large tech demo updates, unique Discord ranks, and a unique Patreon skin that will be made and designed by those that donate and will be only obtainable for the period of time that the Patreon is up for. There will be different price amounts, however, with different rewards. So if you are interested in donating and supporting the development, please check the description below. The more we get, the faster this tech demo is released and we can get the second round of Kickstarter up and running with more preparedness. So yeah, that's what went wrong, and that's what our new plan is. So thank you very much for watching. The Patreon is in the description, along with our Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media stuff. We will also be doing a Q&A stream tomorrow, um, so please ask any and all questions you have in our Discord in the, in the hashtag stage questions channel. Uh, but again, thank you all for the support, and from the team and myself, thank you again. We really appreciate it. Any help is very much appreciated. So thank you very much. Have a good night.